Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are modeling for advantage. It's finally come, John. Dude! We've waited a long time for this. You called this when I believe Aeronautica Imperialis came out. I did. And you were like, dude, you know what this means? I'm like, no, what? It's like epic. It means coming. epic's coming. Yeah. And uh, alas, all right, a few years after you it was made that initial summer. call. Yeah. And then it was delayed. Was it delayed? Alien abduction. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Maybe John Blanche retired and they got confused as who was going to paint the he, box. He did retire, yes. Yeah, so who knows? But it's finally happened and we're going to review it for your viewing pleasure. So, Ooh. Jibis, you want to tell them what to get in there? Bosh, I certainly can. Um, so, this box contains Warhammer, the Horus Heresy, Neodrons Imperialis, which is 240 pages of your finest hardback rules. We're going to see that. Uh, you get one order token set, two range rulers. Sorry. Two rules reference sheets, which if you read it, is what it actually says. Mm -hmm. 20 six-sided dice, uh, one scattered dice. That's back in the table. The scattered dice, nice. Uh, templates, measuring sticks, and transfer sheets, but that's not important. What is important is you get 223 miniatures. That's a lot of guys. Uh, do you want me to go through and tell you exactly what you get? No, because we're going we're gonna to look at that in more detail, all Good. right? But you essentially get three factions, arguably. You get yes. Space Marines. You get Solar Auxilia, which is the Horus Heresy uh, army, and you get some Reavers, not Reavers, Warhounds. Warhounds, the Titans. Warhound Titans, yeah. sweet. You get some a tight one. I've, uh, pre, I've pre doofed the Watson. Pre cut it. Very nice. So we get to just do that. Oh. All right, okay. So okay. you are confronted with plastic. Now, straight away, John, you're excited, aren't you? Because. <laughs> These cast your memory back to original early box Pointy set. sticks. These things can take out an eye. Health and safety was not an issue back in the 90s. No. They cut and slash, don't they? Cut, slash. Uh, but especially... Pretty whoop. good javelin style throw. Do you want to give him a, do you give him a whip? Give him a, give him a whip, see I'm if gonna, I'm going to do it as a double, but... <laughs> you feel real ninja I with that. When you're that. 12 And you, well. you've got... Two separated <laughs> yeah. and you're spinning around May doing the backwards. Dangerous, dangerous. Uh, so you're going to be measuring with these really obscure. You don't need a tape measure, but their inclusion means it's suitable for beginners, which I don't. I don't get. This is not a beginner's game. This is yeah. not an entry level game. It I, seems I, pretty I, hardcore. Yeah, I mean, I like because uh, the, there's there's two different types of starter sets, right? Or starter armies. Is there starter sets for people who've like new to gaming? Completely. Five and then dudes, there's, there's things five people dudes. who are new to this game. Yes. Is that what this is, you'd say? More than... I don't think anyone's playing this as their first war game. When you walk into a Warhammer shop, this is not what you're confronted with. True. You know, this this is this is for existing players of Warhammer. Now, maybe they're just including that for the nostalgia hit. I don't know. Because I think this game is heavily <sighs> nostalgia-based. Yeah, but that's a weird thing. I don't know if the point is six were about no. in the era of Epic Original. Epic. I don't. I don't. I can't. Recall. I don't remember using them. They, they, Epic I know. Armageddon, maybe. Maybe there's been a few iterations over yeah. the time. Yeah. However, those blast templates we recognise have been These around for a long time. I've been around. These are the same used for various iterations of Warhammer Forty Thousand and Necromunda. Then there's all the sprues. You can just get them out. We'll go through the sprues in detail. So let's just let's just pull them out. Working our and way through the box. Things. These look like infantry vehicles, guards. We'll look put at it in rough sprues. One in detail. Tanky sprues. In a moment, but let's just go through the box. Uh, that looks like it could be Arsenal awesome, tanky sprue, and then this is I think that's like Warhound, Warhound. I okay. think roughly ish. Uh, you get your standard divider topper thing. With oh, that lovely. Oh, is that a double? No, it's not a double. You get that, and you get a few items that you can purchase. Mm. Uh, uh, is there anything on there that we don't know about? Don't know. No. 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 A Castus Knights. Have we heard of those? Yeah. Okay. Cool. They were in Titanicus. I have not seen or heard of that. Dire what Wolf. the hell is a Direwolf Heavy Scout Titan? It's a variant. Yes, you're absolutely correct, because it is just a uh, it's a, It looks a bit It, look it looks a bit more angry. Not. Yeah. You get your rule book. I'm just going to tilt it up, because it's got two yeah. sheaths either side. It is a beautiful hardback. Uh, I 
the, oh, the librarian in me want, please, wants you to are the man this. of words let's, and let's see the thing okay so first of all Give us the do we get the are yeah, happy we, with the we get the carcinogenic photographic paper smell. Adequate enough? Always good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll just have I, a little... Oh, God, sorry. Chase sorry. It. <laughs> you want to chase it? You want to chase okay, it? Yeah. Right? It's also... It is stitched. I don't know if you can see that. It is in It is in leaves. Can you see the, the grooves where the pages yeah, are folded? Yeah, it's like... Yeah. Watches of 20... Watches of them which are stitched together and attached to a piece of cloth. So, is that That's better good. Yeah, that worse? stops it from, like... Snapping. Okay, cool, cool. That's good. That's very good. And it even has, I saw there, a bookmark. Now, that's not terribly useful, just one bookmark in a, oh, in a rules reference. Uh, but it does have one. So that is a very nice rule book. And it is pretty, pretty nicely laid out inside, as John and the viewers can see. Nice. It is huge because it is rules, fluff, and codex. It's everything. This is it's the starting everything. of the new game. Not quite finished. Not quite finished. Uh, there seems to be another layer. You get a birthday card. Yeah, birthday card. I'm guessing that's the reference sheet. Should we have a look? Yes, please. Is that quick reference sheet? I'm going to assume so. Because this is your instructions, lovingly color coded uh, for each of the individual oh. units. No. Oh, this is very disappointing. I think this is a triple doofer. You've got some interesting paper, Pay tokens. almost paper-esque. That's a shame. This is like 80 gram card. This is pathetic. I would have expected much thicker than that. Man, bear in mind that this is a game this where you place an order token every These are in constant use. That are in continuous use, getting an awful lot of handling. Mm. That's pathetic. Unless I, I, you can buy bespoke acrylic versions of No, I still think for inclusion in the game, for a well, core yeah, component. Agreed. They gave you those whippy sticks in case you don't have a tape measure. Yeah. And then they give you this on effectively on paper. Look, this is almost punched through just me just holding it in that. But corner. I mean, it's adequate if you've not got anything. I know everyone's going to need them. It's that's not like pathetic. you've got your. Uh, that um, really is. That's. You know what I mean? Kaiser's yeah. like, that's, that's bitter. Uh, two reference sheets we're meant to have. Yeah. Which we do two have. Two quick reference sheets, yeah. I mean, yeah, this is almost... That's the same. Yeah. That's pathetic. Design choice? Don't know. No, that's just, Cut just, just saving money. Who knows? Uh, decal sheet? No. Very nice. Now, this has got quite a bit involved on it. Is it? Well, that's I've got, got, got my so reading glasses, okay, so Are got, these the Space Marine Legions? This is the Horus Heri Legions Imperialized Transfer sheet. So this right. covers everything by the looks of it. You've got so the Astartes got? ones, which seems to be Imperial Vists, Iron Hands... Sons of Horus and Death Guard. So you've got those with decals enough for the tanks, I'd say. Nothing more. Right. But then you've got a whole bunch. This whole top row is all solar auxilia. I'm guessing regiments vehicles. or yeah. vehicles. But there's quite a few different insignia there. There's like a, a bull's head, a ram's head, a Spartan helm. So there must be something different behind regiments. that, yeah, yeah, which I'm not yeah. too... Uh, and then some of the off. Titans. Infantry banners. Warhound Titan, yes. The infantry banners, are they Space Marine ones? Um, I'm going to say yes. Because they've got Legion numbers on I think on it's them, got they? everything, yeah. I think it's a mix of also, all sorts. So, yeah. Uh, You've got, you got a fair few options there to kit out. But you haven't got all 18 Legions. No, this seems very focused on either... Death Guard or... Iron Hands, Death Guard... Uh, Imperial Fists and, and Sons of Horus. Which were none of the legions we wanted. None of the ones that we're intending to Because we were going paint them up as. We, we, we want to do two opposing Space Marines. dudes, and I can't remember which ones we actually Was decided on Eaters. in the end. World Eaters and... Blood Angels. Yeah, I think we were going that route. In the world, and the World Eaters Only for like, the colour factions. Like a white and a sky blue. Yes, World Eaters yeah. in this period world were white and sky blue. Yeah. Blood Angels were red. Distinguishable on the So, if you like us, had a particular legion in mind, that decal sheet isn't going to help. No. There may be other decal sheets. What, what's that booklet? Is that the destruction? This is the destructions, which seem to be quite, as you'd come to expect, it's got but all the, of the colour coded parts. So of the, the model. Yeah, the yellow bit is what where is you put the blue. What is quite confusing the fact that these tanks are not two pieces? No, they're not. That's the Solar Auxilia Lehman Russ. Yes. We'll but see it, that on Sprue shortly, but. Yeah. It might not be that bad. Who knows? Okay. I'm going to leave that within reach. Well, Joanna, which has held our rule book, stopped it from sliding around and bashing the heck yes. out of things. And then we've got a few more bits, John. Uh, so, bits. bases, naturally. Now, these are stylized. They are. They are thinner than you'd expect. Well, yes, not than you'd expect, thin. but they are wafer thin. They are wafer thin. And they have cracks and tiling on them. 
So, good and bad. I think I like the wafer thin basing. Wafer thin? I don't this like... Scale. I don't like the fact that they... This wafer thin basing is for their cityscaping. Right. They have it, so they've made, they make you like one foot square plastic tiles have a cityscape and a lot of scenery that goes with it. These bases are very much for that. But what it means, being wafer thin, they're not the same as any other bases. Yeah, you and if I don't want a city escape, so I'm going to use these bases because they're wafer thin. Because they're wafer thin, and I'm then going to um, put flock and things on top of them. Yeah, there's nothing stopping. There's you nothing from stopping. Doing that it just feels texture. like a real waste of the base. Agreed. But I, and I looked at their art of their infantry on these bases, and they look stupid. What is interesting, as I was expecting, because I'm of a vintage to remember the old epic infantry bases. Yeah. You had five plugs to put your infantry. Yes. And the infantry like flames of war bases, exactly they were, they were like plugged. Yeah. This has got zero plugs. Yes, and what that means is if we look at the infantry, the infantry have all got little pulls at their feet. So these little circlets. Oh. And they all protrude above the base. And if that's supposed to look like a giant paving slab, why is there a little mound that every single man is standing on? Oh. And I've seen the official photographs of this stuff painted up. Are they quite And visible? they're all standing on little mounds. So it's not particularly hidden. It's, it, no. Whereas if you, if you use a, a, like a grass or, or your own basing material on it, you can conceal that. But if the base is flat and supposed to be a slab, as, as they are, I don't know if you saw on these, yes. you can see the yeah. kind of, that's not a good angle for you to see it from. Um, they're pretty they're pristine. Flat. Yeah. Like untouched. Some of them might not be, I don't They've know. got a little bit of damage, but what they haven't Nothing got is major. anything that's made these guys look like they're sort of standing out everywhere. Is that a big deal? Are we fussed yeah. about that at this scale? It's not quite Diddy, Diddy men. No, it's just every, Diddy men. every man is standing on a mound. It looks weird, John. And you could, you could maybe spend you, a little bit of time cutting that off and you'd still have the feet to attach, but, but I can I don't imagine... they'd be held, held on the base very exactly, securely. I can imagine this some size. of these are quite dependent on that. Yeah. Last thing in the box, we'll talk about the screws in detail in a second. Yes, last thing in the box is a whole heap of D6 and your so you've got a scatter, scatter dice, dice, which is Is nice. there another dice in there? No. It's just all D6. Which is, that sounds promising, right? Mm hmm If it's a just straight up D6 system. Sounds good. Right. Broadly speaking, three factions in the box. Which one do you want to look at first? We've seen Titans before, and you've recently done some Adeptus Titanicus, so... Okay, we're back. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we've been fishing out the Adeptus Titanicus stuff and realised that it wasn't quite the same. Yep. So you've got three sprues for your Warhounds. They're funny the way they've done this Adeptus Titanicus stuff, is that the, this set of two sprues makes two Warhounds. Right. And I think one has got the right leg forward and one has got the left leg forward. Yeah. Um, so you've got a choice of four kind of upper carapaces. There's very little customization on these. Um, if you've not seen the Adeptus Titanicus video, which I'll put a link to somewhere. Bosh. Um, these Adeptus Titanicus models are quite complicated to build, even these little warhounds. The Reaver was a nightmare, and I've not even bought a war uh, a warlord because of oh how God. bad the other the others were built. Yep. Unless you're seriously committed to doing some hard modelling, cutting and re-sculpting, just leave the legs as they are for your first two. Yeah. Multi if you get some more, monopose. yeah, multi-part monopose is what you're talking about here. These two are going to build the shell of the Reaver, uh, the the Warhound. They're going to get you this far. Now, what's interesting about this is the base sizes have changed in Adept in Epic from Adeptus Titanicus. How does that compare? Is that the same size? So, okay, Seems the Warhound is okay. The Warhound is on the same Obviously, size. Obviously, the depth of the base we've already discussed. Yeah. This is wafer thin. The, but the, uh, the Reaver Titan's on an oval base mm -hmm. in Adeptus Titanicus. I think it's on a round base on this. I think that's the way because of the way the tool their tools work for determining arcs of fire. Oh, and right. They're in curves, so they they're shaped that way. Right. So yeah. that's specific to the game, whereas this yeah. is just yeah. Whereas in this, I think that matters a whole lot less. But what is different, very different, is the third sprue from the sprue that we got with the basic reavers. In the with the Adeptus Titanicus, you got things like the Vulcan Mega Bolter and the Plasma Blast Gun. Yes. Um, Whereas in this, totally different weapon sprue. What are our options, John? 
some fascinating <laughs> weapons of destruction, much like the Volkite Eradicator, the incisor pattern Melter Lance. Mm. Or why not treat yourself to a Natrix Shock Lance or a Lursus Claw? Don't Very forget nice. your missile pods. So there you go. The sad thing about that is I can't use those weapons in Adeptus Titanicus because I don't have stats for them. At all? I'm surprised at that. Because it runs on cards. Mm. You attach cards to them. Whereas in this, you just have a stat sheet. Okay, okay. This is a very much more simple game. So I like that because it means that my Warhounds, these Warhounds so will be will be quite different. These aren't backwards compatible with Adeptus Titanicus. They are, but I'd need to buy a card Additional, pack. Right. Or buy another set yeah, that comes okay. with these weapon options, which would come with the cards. But you can straight port the ones you've already but got. But I can straight port the ones I've already port because I checked the weapons list. They're in there. And because it's much less sophisticated, it's very easy to have lots of different weapons because they've just, they're just got a hit on number and, and so forth. <laughs> so that, that's great. So these, the, the Titans, Titans you've the seen, pair of Warhounds. You've got them. Uh, in the game, a Warhound hunting pack costs 330 points, and you can add another one for another 330, or another three, or another two, sorry, taking 600, uh, plus another 640. So there's a slight discount on taking a three hound pack. Nice. A discount of 20 points. Ooh, that <laughs> might be a lot in this game, who knows? Yeah, absolutely. So that's that's that, but they are there as... A detachment. They're, uh, they are, but I think that they are likely to be like support troops and that's our plan we were going to have sp a space marine legion each and then and our own tack ons yeah in the form of our own type pair of warhounds or whatever absolutely sweet okay well so that's then that's a simple bit yeah the no. weapons are very easy oh in terms of the modularity of the weapons are they all using a core base yeah in the sense that so i'm gonna get one of these out just to show you I maybe did this the wrong way around, and you can learn from my experience. Whoa! Bye-bye. I, I, I forgot these had other loose tokens from the game. Right, I don't know if... Can you see that? There's, there's like a knob sticking out of the weapon. Yes. Which goes into this socket here on there. So that just goes oh, in there. Oh, yes. I've seen that. It's like a double ball joint. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, what I should have done... Was plug this this double ball joint into the into the well, vehicle, like glued in, glued in, and had the weapon separate. So you because you don't get it. enough of these ball joints. Well, no, this is held in place. I push that in. What is in this instance? With yeah, but there's just like a. I a, think you might find it different if it wasn't glued in the configuration. You've got it. I think if you had the weapon loose. And we're just relying on the little the bit of blue I think you would just fall. Blue tack hadn't considered blue tack. There's a t there's like three millimeters of blue tack in there, and that was enough to hold it through a whole Bosh. game. Right? But if I'd done it without, if I'd done it by gluing this joint into the socket and having the weapon free, I could have done all the weapons. <laughs> yeah. I see what you mean. But the way I've done it <laughs> is, you've, you've, you've is my weapons are changeable, but I've only got the... Two options. <laughs> well, two but I have to options. use all of my weapons. Yeah. I don't have spare ones because they don't give you more of those joining pieces. Ah, boo. Because what they really want you to do is to pay for an extra model for each weapon, po Definitely. possible weapon option, right? Sorry, we talked longer about these than uh, I would have expected. Um, I like the fact that they've included the of the three, four, five kits that they make, mm. they've included the easiest one in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, this was this was far easier than the Reaver, but still quite difficult. Still That's more the than Titans. none. Shall we have a look at the Space Marines? Let's then, do it. I mean, these are the big boys, right? So you get the heavy tanks. Marine heavy tanks, which you get... Uh, what are they called? Uh, the... Did you say Sicarius? I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to try and... Yeah, Sicarius. Sicarius. I'm say Sicarius, but yeah, Sicarius. The Sicarius tanks. Uh, plus um, you get Predators squadron as well. Plus you get some Predators, yeah. But I was looking at one sprue at a time, you see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so that's it. There so it is. Sicarin. The Sicarian squadron. squadron. Now you get two of these, right? It's two vehicles. Okay. Um, you can see on the sprue, it's put together in sort of... It is quite a few parts because it's got weapon options, I believe. You do have weapon options, either plasma or auto cannons. Right. Oh, Looking plus the sponsons. And then the sponson weapons. Oh my. So the sprue itself then, John. 
I think I think it looks pretty confident. I, it's got I, an upper and lower hull. Yeah. The sides, you know, and that's your box. I don't think any modelers, unless you're like straight off the you yeah, know, straight off the belt. Straight off the block, yeah. I don't think you're going to have any major problems with it. Mm. Some of the pieces do look fiddlier than you'll maybe be used to, like the Commander, if you can see him there, to go in your little coppola. I think you might, he's, an, he's, he's one flick away from being lost in your carpet, mm. as are some of the sponsor weapons. Not so bad, though. I'd have to get my hands on to, to tell you how fiddly these are. The sponsons are in two pieces. So, when you say fiddly because you're looking at the size of the vehicle. Oh, I am. All right, but bear in mind that you, you've replaced the hands on Space Marines. I have. These are not smaller than that. No. In fact, most of them are bigger. There's just more of it. It's not one hand. It's not like, I'm just going to like, right. At I'm, the I'm outside of that. the yeah. model doing I'm this. I'm going to do one hand as a straight yeah. pot. This is yeah. lots of integral pieces of tiny little nubbins. Yeah. It might be fine. But one of the design choices they've made is is Coppola's open and close. Yes. So they they very much, they give you a commander figure. But he's like, ooh. What, is, this he one is, is actually waving. This, this one is actually, one waving. actually waving. Or you can have one with like a heavy bottle. And an open cupola and so forth. And that's going to allow you to give some real sort of flavour to your vehicles. Yes. I think I'm going to go down the Flames of War route. I'm go the way I've done with those. Commander. One commander is... Com the commander is commander up. The rest of them... Idiot! <laughs> <laughs> because you don't actually want to be commander. I mean, this is sci-fi there. Yeah, true. And they are wearing full And suits actually, often, like, the, the models, they, they don't even wear their helmets. The if you're a boss, they? If you, you're a boss, you don't wear your helmet. No, you don't wear your helmet if you're a boss. Because you're well odd. So riding commander up is just part of that scene of being commander. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you get two of your sicarins. Two sicarins. Two smash bosh. Um, and, the, and they're on the same sprue. And you get three predators. So oh, they're so even red. they're even simpler. Again, your sponsors are separate. Have you got you've got an option for? Uh, there is a turret option, yes. Yeah, so you can get the last cannon option or a standard predator cannon, which is ultimately a. Slightly and it looks like up. you might. Do you have different sponsor weapons? There options? is. Yeah, you've got your heavy bolter or last cannon options on the sponsors, and they are cabled. I'm seeing some. Ca I saw some there cabling on of some of these. There's a little bit of cabling. Well, they, they seem to be your your primary contact points. There's two little teeth and then uh, a lower cable section that fits mm. to the actual sponson itself. So, yeah, that's interesting to see. Three tiny points of contact. Now, I'm looking at three predators and six turrets. Six turrets, sir? Yeah. If we look at the turret assembly, is there anything that's going to stop me from making both? So you need the principal turret. You need, uh, has it got six cup, uh, it's got six cupolas, excluding okay. open what ones. What about these like rear ammo doofers? Right. Part 15. Because it's almost worth knowing. Mm, one, two. And another two up there. Three. And four. another two over there. I it, think you can make It all looks variants. like you can make all the turrets. Well, well, you can make both turrets. And in terms of the way the turret fits in, which is nice, look. It's it's Perfect. a proper proper socket and tube, so you don't have to glue that. Uh, for the size of the vehicle, it's a huge turret ring. That's that's going to go in and out easily. I hope. I think so. I yeah. think so. And you can twist it because you love all that I stuff. Lo right? I love. I love that stuff. As busy as this sprue looks, it, it is quite busy. Most of it is just gluing on external There's fittings. Not that much. And there are three vehicles here, not two. So I'm fairly happy with that. So when you look at the kits that they're selling boxes, these are just multiples of these sprues, or even just one of these sprues. I'm concerned. I think you do want to get three predators, and that's a predator sprue there. Ooh. You know, so... Tiny slim boxes to fill your shelf. <laughs> while, you, while you wait, yeah. Um, but that does affect... The um, the way they are, which is why you, you buy your Reavers will come in pair, uh, your Warhounds come in pairs. Yes. Because the, across the two sprues, they're not the same. Yes. Whereas in this, they put, they've designed that. And that's one sprue, that's one sprue. That's cool. That's cool. Which is good. Um, so then we can look at the Space Marines themselves. And here they are. Here they are. Now, we had a quick look. Just check. These are two, two identical sprues. sprues. Yes, confirmed. Space Marine, Diddy Men. These are 
significantly bigger than the old Space Marines. At least double the size. They're not at least double the size. In my eyes, they're at least double the size. They're not double the size. They're, they're, they're at least 50, 60% larger. They're pushing towards double, so this is more like a 10 mil than anything else. Okay, that's cool. So, so on here, there should be uh, a command squad, yeah. which seems to be like what you'd expect, although slightly different, because it's Horus Heresy, yeah, right? And, it, and it's much more animated. So you've got like, your captain dude... Um, a, seems to be a medic dude. A, yeah, a medic dude, a guy with a banner. You know, and, and they're all two a, bodyguard type. Yeah, and they're all a little bit dynamic, which is great. Nice. And that doesn't include the sergeant dude. Sergeant dude is used on the tactical squad, isn't he? Yes. You, so you've got like yeah, you've got mm. a ten man tactical squad divided. Uh, tactical legionnaires, as they say. Yeah. Now, what's interesting is you've got like a. <laughs> Your best man is in there with his little vexilia thing on his back. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got your sergeant, and then you've got your general dudes. Right. Which is cool. Because I'm not entirely sure, but I think in Horus Heresy, you can have 10-man squads or 20-man. Yeah, I think so. In 28 mil anyways, but yeah. yeah. Loads of those, right? Yeah. So you build time, uh, uh, times two of those. Yes. Times two of the man with vexilia back. Banner thing. There's what three different these, base what do they types. Mean? Yeah. Three different. Two of this one, one of that one, one of that one. So I'm looking at what's on each sprue. And then it's saying what times two. You've In got the set. Yeah. You've got so two sprues. Two sprues. Yeah. This so makes more four sense. Four bases of tactical marines, one command base, two bases of assault marines, which is one on each sprue. Yes, that would be the case, yeah. Five single... Two bases of support legionnaires with plasma guns or with missile launchers. They seem to be separate. Are they separate? So I think you get two bases of plasma dudes. Yeah. And then two bases two of with space missiles, marine, yes. missile launcher dudes. Right, it's not... Oh yeah, because there's no kind of optional weapon. Not back then. Not back then. You all no. got the same. Two bases with plasma guns, two bases with missile launchers. The missile launcher guy did plug in. I knew I'd seen something. I'd seen yes. a missile launcher. You can see his so that, little that arm there. slots in number 30. Mm, say his, plug in. His arm is attached, yeah. Does it plug in? His, his right arm is attached. Oh, you've got the shoulder, but he's, his a little, tiny his bit little of left hand, mate. That's his little left hand there. Yeah. So you're going to try and balance that on the torso, the actual model Mate, it's section. It's not fine. You got, you're a pro. No, it will be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. And beans, it's, I'm glad they didn't do this back in the day because there's not a chance mm. that that would work. Um, so two bases of plasma guns, two bases of Legion Terminators, and two with missile launchers. What that what that means to me, what I didn't like when I looked at this is, same with the Sakar was it the Sakarans? Very small units. Yeah, it's a taster unit, isn't it? Um, well, no, but that's but the, the base table, unit it's not, size. It's not effective. <laughs> uh, well, is it? We're gonna, so what we're going to do when we look at the sprues, we're going to look at the lists and see whether bigger units are available. Because also on here, we get Contempt of Dreadnoughts. Oh. We get, How many do you get? You get... F uh, is it four? I want to say four. Please hold. Yeah, I'm seeing enough for two... Well, I've got two bodies on mine, and you've got two, you got two bodies so on yours. So there's there's four contempt of dreadnoughts, and they are, they are going to require some assembly. They've got separate legs and all sorts. Yeah, separate legs, two part torsos, back and front. Uh, you do have some weapons options in the sense you could have the Kiri's assault cannon or some crazy las cannon, uh, mm. dual las cannon. All clearly laid out in the instructions. Yep, perfect. So that that's nice. So. Um, we actually got two sets of this because when I saw like two man units of assault marines and thought two man unit of assault marines are going to jump into the middle of the table and then and get killed. Disappear. Yes. Yeah. So we're actually going to mix up like the proportions when we come to fight. If you buy extra space marines, I did look at this, you just get two more of these sprues in the kind of Legion Astartes That's set. Right. Okay. Is the same sprue, just two more. Sweet. All right. I think that actually wraps up the marine side of things. Onto the Imperial Guard. Uh, excuse me, Solar Auxilia. The sir. Solar Auxilia. Sorry, I think you just said guard last time. I yeah, I most we did. Yeah. Time. Right, Solar Auxilia. All right. So four, four basic sprues in in here, or three probably when we look at them. This is two infantry sprues, and then Lehman Russ and the Mal Malkador. Yeah. So the Malkador heavy tank then, sir. Boom. Quite obscure. This is, this is like 
I don't know, slightly heavier than your, your Lehman Russ standard. So this is this is between a Lehman Russ and a Bend Blade? Yeah, it's that sort of middle, yeah, yeah. heavy tank, right. not it's, super heavy it's tank. It's a heavy tank. I mean, it looks significantly bigger than the Lehman Russ. It's it's 50% longer mm. in this scale. So it is it is bigger. Um, so the, there seems more fiddly pieces. This is, a, is this a multi-turreted so vehicle? So, I'm, yeah, I'm not too familiar with a lot of the solar auxiliar stuff, but looking at this... <laughs> Yes, it's got you still have sponsons, but not, not got, quite a sponson. <laughs> it, no, and it's a don't glue me in and I'll move. Oh, wafting, wafting it's sponsons. Wafting. Yeah. Oh, and turrets. Turret has got a cap, but it's not a turret, but it's got some movement. Does that make sense? So you slot the gun in, so you've got a little bit of traverse of like 45 degrees that you, you can move that around, but it's not a 360 turret. Because it's, it it's sits in an armoured recess. And then, <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, by the looks of it. It's got a little bit of traverse. Yeah. And then you've got those that's steel, interesting. steel walls. That's, that's these things. Now, this looks like one, two, three, one, two, three. So you've got all three of, three the, turret, of the options. turret options. However, once you put the cap on top of it, the armoured cap, you're not going to be able to get it in and out. Only if you glue it. Only if you... No, no. I mean, if you don't clip the, if you don't glue the gun, it'll move, but you won't get it out because it's wedged in. Oh, so you can wedge it in? Yes. Sorry. Yeah. I so you can swap yeah. the turrets without messing around with magnets or blue tack. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, because there's there's a cap above the above the turret. Boo. <laughs> Which is a real shame. Yeah, it's exactly that, yeah. Yeah. You can't even like pincer right. it in there. But that's, have it. that's the market. You get a pair of those and then you get, is this four Lehman Ross? One, two, three, four. This, I love the look of this. This looks, or is this two? No, there's four. Four Lehman Ross. There These look very simple. Yep. Similar design to what you'd imagine. Uh, what is cool is they get little like artillery doofus on the back yes. so when they fire they rear up in the air obviously yes they've got uh, but it's not to dig in the ground and stop them from rearing just up it's just to allow them to roll roll <laughs> which i don't think is a very good idea at all i mean the fact that it needs that, that. Is, is yeah quite concerning um, and you have the option of the vanquish or the battle cannon that is correct two options there and again you've got the you've open got the front cupola mount. and you've got four commander heads which are too tiny for me to... What is interesting is your... Uh, yeah, you're pointing at the heavy bolter uh, this. hull uh, weapon. Which That's is, the heavy bolter hull, yeah. hull weapon. But it the, could be. I mean, in Kaiser's that, world, you will have heavy small. bolters commanding your... That is tiny. I've not got my reading glasses. Well. Uh, yeah. But you get what? One, two, three. There's so where are they? four different <laughs> options. I reckon they've snuck them onto the infantry sprues. Which would be really weird. No, they couldn't have because of their this? sound techniques. Yes, you found one. These and two. there's two. And there should be four of them. And there's this yeah, guy. Yeah, him. And then there should be one more. There he is. <laughs> These are tiny. Spot the. I was looking at this row of heavy bolt sponsors because the shape is a little bit it like a silhouette, wise, like, yeah, um, like a bust. Them. Yeah. Like you know, I thought it was like shoulders, head and shoulders, as it were, and it's not a whole mountain of heavy bolts. I would love. Of the I would love for you to go away. <laughs> Stick them in there. Why is it build the lean and run? And then it gets to the tabletop, and yeah, this is. Having just said it was fine. So again, with the <laughs> turret, yeah. So the nature of these turrets, you're not going to be able to easily swap between the, the and I don't think that's mm. worth messing around with magnets. No. Um, I was just wondering about, and so looking at the ammunition, mean, they're interchangeable, you can have the, either the battle cannon or the vanquisher cannon, so whether you want, there doesn't seem to be much reason not to take the, the vanquisher. Longer looking range. At it. Has anti-tank and armour bane and more AP and longer range. I don't really see what you gain from the battle cannon, but anti-tank could be a negative. It could be bad against infantry. That's a fair point, yeah. There are certain key words, aren't there, that... Yeah. 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 And so that might mean it's rubbish, it's shooting infantry. Yes. Because it's actually which, which stats are in the stat line. Which would make sense. Yeah, it's difficult to know. But it isn't that you... It's like you get one Vanquisher and four Battle Cannons in the squadron or something, which is one of the things I wanted to look at. Cool. Well, that's almost the vehicle side of things. There are a couple of vehicles that are included on the infantry sprue. Ah, which you would call vehicles. Vehicles. Right, so the infantry sprue for the solar auxiliary, just double checking quickly that they are identical, and I'd be very surprised if they're not, but because there are vehicles, they might have been slightly different. Oh, thank you. 
So we're not okay, so auxilia. The five tour base, just like the space yes, marines. Yes, we didn't. I don't know. We failed to mention that. that I yeah, think. But five I, I mean, I base. think everyone who's looked at this knows. Yeah. Five tour base. So you've got auxilia commander base. Yep. Uh, technically times two, obviously, because it's yep. two separate sprues. I think. Yeah. That... They're calling one auxilia commander and then one tactical command. Interesting. But that's just the same guy. He's because because it knows you've got two sprues. Yeah. Yep. And that may be. How it is, the army is built. You carry on, and I'll have a look at the book and see yeah, if that makes more I mean, sense. Just to have me. a look. But regardless, you've got a, a commander of sorts, a demi commander, it seems, as a tactical command, which use, as Kaiser was just saying, use similar miniatures over the course, but I can't quite tell from here. Uh, you get your auxiliary standard, which is what, one, two, three, four times two to account for the two sprues. So that's eight bases of standard dudes. Uh, you get Vitarii. Uh, I'm sure Kaiser will correct me there. Now, they look to be like crazy power axe wielding dudes. I was not aware that this was even a thing. Yeah, they've got melee troops. They've got melee troops. Uh, slightly heavily armored, maybe. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, and you also get auxiliaries with flamers. So you get like a, a full unit of 10 times two over the two sprues of solely flamer auxilia. Um, the other interesting points on these two is you, you get ogrins, mate. You get ogrins, not just you any get ogrins. ogrins. You get multi part ogrins. You get Sharonite ogrins. Two to a base. Two to a base. Um, these guys are like proper deep space ogrins, full on gas masks, big clippy clunky claws, and look like some sort of rotary saw for a hand. That's, Sharonite ogrins. That ah. sounds mighty painful. So they got, surprisingly, I thought these were a bit squishy, the Soda Ortelia. But you seem to have a fair few melee units. Well, not only that, but I'm just looking at how this works. So how does it work regards you the whole You buy commander? a, a LAS rifle tercio. Oh so you God. get four bases of dudes with LAS rifles. So that's that. And then you add the other guys to them. So like the support options and... So auxiliaries, auxiliaries with flamer, velatari and ogron charonites. So the Ogre and Charonites has 15 points of base. Okay, so you can sort of, not that we've got that far, but you could min-max your, mm. your auxiliar companies to have like just las, las gun goons that are going to sit on an objective or something a bit more meaty. Yeah, and you can take up to six upgrade picks and each pick is two bases. So for 15 points you had two bases of Ogre and Charonites. For 12 points, you've got two bases of Elitari. Okay. I think, if I'm reading it right. I haven't actually no, we, read the yeah, rules on it. Because it talks about detachment size here, and I assume that, that means sense, number though. of bases. Yeah, that would make yeah. sense. But it's the fact that then these are embedded. So you basically, your basic Lasgun dudes are bullet catchers. They just <laughs> soak up everything. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't know quite how that works in relation to them having different stats, different, you know, uh, saving throws. But all, yeah, all these guys have got a save of six. Well, we don't even know. Your Charonite so Ogrins have got a save of six. Targeting. Everything's just a save of six. six. It's got even close to Salt Fact there. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> One thing I am noticing on this sprue with all of the, the, the dudes and the Ogrins, there's these little, um, we've got some Sentinels here. Aethon Heavy Sentinels. Aethon Heavy to Sentinels. To the infantry. Are they part of that? They're not part of the last rifle. Tercio, you take them as their own detachment, they come in a pair, and you can take them in uh, up to eight in a unit. They're multi launcher and sentinel missile launcher. Sweet, yeah, I'm seeing. Yeah. Oh no, that's it, yeah. You've got two pods on the side and then a, a middle. Whoop. And then a middle gun. And they look, all of this stuff looks really different from 40k. Same, but different. And uh, these sentinels look completely different. Yeah, yeah. The normal dudes look completely different. Yeah, so they're, they're their own detachment. It may be that you can take them uh, other things that we talked about as their own detachments. But you know, we just in. don't know yet. No, because we're only just looking at it. But that's cool. And that, that was on the sprue. Anything else on that sprue? That's it. We've got the we've covered the Ogrens. You've got your command, two types of command to, to cover, like, you know, your commander mm. and your lieutenant or whatever. Yeah. 
So yeah, but the, the interesting things with the Vitarii dudes uh, and, and the Auxilia Flamers, I didn't realise that was like a thing. I thought it was just loads of las guns you got in this mm. box set. Because actually, you have as many special weapons as you have las guns, mm. and that's not including the Ogres. Yeah. So you, get, you get quite a lot. Quite a lot in this. Happy days. And the two different command bases that do actually have different stat lines. So one of them's like the main guy, and the other one is like just a bot. A mini guy. <laughs> a bot that can give orders. Yeah, yeah. The auxiliary tactical command detachment versus the leg eight commander detachment. Uh, do very different stat lines for oh, well, what I think are identical bases. So that could be a problem. Different close assault factors. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to need to mark them out. Differently what is somehow. Different? The only real difference is the main boss dude. One, the rest is sort of three, all four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there is one model different on and the base, and it's not the one you'd expect. <laughs> the it's the one with books. Yeah, the num no, the number one is. Oh, sorry, two is repeated, is it? No, no. So two is different, and one is replaced by two. Yeah, seems so. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Yes. Yeah. Fascinating, James. Fascinating stuff. So they do look slightly different, but it's good that when you say the guy replaced with, with the pile of books, is that model looks different. It's it's recognisably different yeah. quickly. One's a beat stick. One's well, if one's got one. a pile of books on it and one hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a I think that's a smart decision for two bases that are otherwise identical. But the bit that's different is really obvious. Uh, shockingly, also soon, we seem to be at the end. Seems to be the end of the instructions. Of the miniatures. Right. Now, uh, what do we know as a rule set? I obviously have only just opened this box today, so I have not played it. I have, however, watched the battle report on Warhammer Plus. Sweet. I watched that a couple of weeks ago. Yes. And I'm pleased to say, having played Titanicus recently, mm. it's a much more complicated game than the original one. Titanicus, that is. Titanicus yes. it is. Yeah. This very, very reminiscent of the epic I played, the game that came out after Adeptus Titanicus. I know at some point it's called Epic, at some point it's called Space Marine. But ultimately and now was, I'm again, I don't remember which is it which. It was the same core, I think, for some time. Single piece land raiders and rhinos with a lot of Space Marines in a box Got on five hole bases. That's what I played. Oof. And that was roll to hit, roll to save. This is this is the same. Okay. What it's got that I think that didn't that had a lot of a lot of special rules in, in you know to so there would be a there would be a notes column on the crib sheet if right. the weapon had a secondary effect. Oh, right. Like a melter weapon doing extra damage at close range or something. They've changed that to keywords. Okay. In this. So that means there's less density on the sheets, the actual crib sheets and the stat sheets. I'm okay with that. But you need to know what the what they do. But I saw in their game there, there's things like some of those Sicarians, I think, can have point defense weapons, which makes them better at overwatching mm. infantry and things like that. Where is that? Give me that, give me that reference sheet. Is it done like a sort of generic general rules thing here? Combat, I just want to have a little look. Firing flies, la la la, firing, no, I'm sure it's somewhere. Well, we as you say, at... there's key. Yeah, so keywords, there's 12 pages of keywords. Okay. So there's quite a few. Hopefully they're just uh, in uh, big. But it, but it's because I think they've pushed everything into a keyword. Commander is a keyword. Right. Yeah? Yeah. For example, flyer is a keyword. Drop pod is a keyword. Deep strike is a keyword. Independent is a keyword, which gets a whole page Whoa. to tell you what independent means. Um, but what was the one we we saw? Anti tank. Yeah. So let's just see if that is in here. Yeah. The difference between why, why would you not take anti tank? Something with a big bang. As we suspected, anti tank is a is a D modifier against infantry. Good against vehicles. Because the stat line gives its, its anti-tank profile, its AP and its hit number. Uh, when it's scored with an anti-tank trait against infantry or cavalry, treat their AP as zero. Opposed to what would have been minus two as normally. Well, yes. So it, so the battle cannon is better at infantry. Interesting. Because the vanquisher cannon has better stats, but it, its stats are neutralised against infantry. Mm. Mm. And that's where you need to understand how a game works yes. to recognise that. Because on the At stat line, glance, the Vanquisher Cannon is just in every stat line better than the Battle range, Cannon. Better, everything. Yeah, absolutely. But it's terrible against dudes. Yeah. So accurate weapons, you're allowed to re-roll failed hit rolls. So rather than having a myriad of 
textual details on each of the weapons, say this one allows you to re-roll hits or re-roll ones, There's condensing them into a dozen pages, few of, pages keywords. of keywords. I'm down for that. As long as it it stays also like that. means when you don't know the rule, you know where to find it. Mm -hmm. I like the keyword system. Even if those keywords kind of have X's, like, so, I don't know, blast X, X because that number means this. Mm. Because I can find keywords quickly during game when there's some confusion over how it works. Mm, just go, right. I just know. look at the, you just go to that, yeah. You can use your little tassel. As long as those your... keywords are all kept together. And not spread out. And not spread out through the book. Which can happen mm. sometimes. Which happens a lot. I think one of the with... key, yeah. 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 Um, and where there's been some time. But you're happy overall. Yeah. And it, although this book looks massive, it's a lot of it is army lists. So that, that we're at missions You've at this rules, point in the book. Missions, keywords. And then let's find it's our. A bit of so fluff. That here, well, the, so the army list and the fluff are kind of. It's like army fluff, army rules list. Okay, cool. All right. But that's all photographs of the stuff Beautiful. at the end. This this is all army lists. I can live with that. This. Yeah. And rules. How many pages of rules are there? The rules are page 28 through 64, which feels like a lot. But again, there's quite a lot of fluff in here and a lot of over explaining going on. A lot of there's page space taken by pictures. A lot of page well. space taken by pictures. Base size and figure count is a whole page. Tokens is half a page. Measuring distances is a page, you know, base to base contact. It's that got whole own page is got base to base contact space. with very little text, right? But it's so cool though, because it's not. Yes. It's there. It's yeah. got its own page. Waste of space, maybe. Big weapons table at the back. Oh. Great. Generally speaking, mm. what it does mean is if that's at the back, then there isn't an index. Oh, and that's where you'd find that. Yeah. But in Adepta, in Epic, you really want a consolidated weapons table because your armies are of a scale where you have lots of different weapons and they're all granular. It's it's still a D6 to hit and a D6 like, save. save. Yeah. So the, the, ima the amount of variation between weapons. Once you start getting to Titans, there's a small, medium and large version of a melter gun. On, yes, on a titanic yeah, scale, true, yeah. right? And and just exactly how much better one is than the other, at what the range differences are. There's just there's just so much variety here to try and put granularity between those weapons. A single consolidated sheet is not a bad thing. Nice. And you can see it does run several pages. <laughs> several pages of just weapons. Alphabetical order, thank lords. If you know your alphabet, which I don't. Having watched that game played, mm. recognizing, not recognizing the detail, but, but like like understanding this is how first fire works, this is how advance works. The you... game looked familiar enough to me to be able to fairly readily pick up. I the stuff that I was less that was new to me was the keyword stuff around things like point defense. But again, right. they're written on a unit card. They tell you that you're going to read that. You're going to know that this unit works slightly differently in this way, in this instance, like the battle cannon anti-tank thing. Yes. It took me exactly 30 seconds to, to understand what that meant. Look it up on the list. It has a negative against infantry. There you go. But the game was speedy. The game, the game well, that I saw was, Roll 10d6, hitting on fours, you make saves and you need sixes. Things are not tough in this game. This is like, a game about having a, a it's company that, of space marines on the table. Yeah, zoomed out, abstract. With Titan Legions in support. Expect lots of death. Yeah, and it's really good to see. This is already a better release than Epic was, I think. Because most of this, most of the non-space marine... Infantry, rhinos, and land raiders that was all later, metal. That didn't it, as well? And yes, more that to the point. That stuff was all metal. That was all the, 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 My metal. Predators were metal. My yeah. Bane Blades were metal. Yeah. You know, all, all of that stuff. My Titans, apart from the Warlords that came from Adeptus Titanicus, my Warhounds were, me were metal. Fact. You know, so this is already a, a, a more comprehensive release on release. We didn't order some other bits, by the way. I ordered some rhinos. Because this doesn't yeah, come with doesn't rhinos, rhinos, which I felt is wrong. 
They haven't released Land Raiders yet, otherwise I would have bought Land Raiders, obviously. But this Surely is the golden they're, they're age of the Land the Raiders. Way. Yeah, Proteus, here we come. Um, and the Night Lance. What's the Night Lance? A Lance of Knights. Oh, sorry, a Night Lance. <laughs> Not a thing called Night Lance. I've got some Night Lances <laughs> from a, a Titanicus. Yes, yeah. Uh, a Lance of Knights. A Lance of Knights. Equals yeah. more do, than do one. Just, do you just mix things up a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Um, so they're out of the box. It's going to be a while before we got all this painted and you see it, but you are going to see it because this game looks like the game this, I remember uh, and I'm very stoked for it. I really sounds am. sounds pretty simple. Whether we're still going to stick with the legions we talked about and so we'll forth. We'll think about that. We'll see. <laughs> but if you wanted to recreate those 80s, 90s, more than 80s, yeah. epic experiences, this plastic release is great. There's no Xenos here. There's no demons yet. Yet. If the game isn't garbage, and it isn't by the looks of things, it will come. Happy days. Looking forward to it. Me too. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.